What's going on? Master Jack Russell, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, hang on. Man, what's with the racket? A message from Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata. He requests your presence this evening. My presence? You mean I should go to the castle? That is all. Thank you, sir. Wow, a summons to the castle. What can that be about? Okay then, I guess I should head to the castle. Man, I'm popular today. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? Jack, it's me. Huh? Ridley? I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour, Jack. Don't worry about it. Come on in. Thanks. Well... Your dump is just about what I expected. Don't you ever clean up? Excuse me! As if you've ever seen a broom, your highness. <sighs> Ridley? Huh? Oh, sorry. What's up? Don't tell me you're out of snappy comebacks. Guess so. Hey, you're acting weird. Jack, you said that... If I ever wanted to talk, I could come and see you. Yeah, I did. The thing is... I need to talk to you. Will you hear me out? Of course I will! If there's one thing I remember from the Knight's Charter, it's this. Knights of the same brigade are as family, right? Although, I'm not a knight anymore. Yes. Because of me. I told you, don't worry about that. Sit down. <sighs> What's wrong? You're really not yourself today. Jack. Uh, yeah? I quit the Knights. You what? Why? I'm going to leave the castle too. Well, actually, I already have. Whoa, hold on a sec. If you leave, where will you go? Theater Van Cor? No. I'm going to the City of Flowers. I need to see Zane, the leader of the Light Elves. Huh? But how are you planning on getting into the city? I don't know. I'll find a way. I have to talk to Lord Zane. But why? You don't want to mess with those elf guys. Do you remember the transpiritation? Yeah. After we met the orc and it almost finished you off. Ever since I received the ritual, I've been feeling different. As if my own body belonged to someone else. As if it wasn't my own anymore. Huh. And then there's Algandars. It's been infecting more and more people recently. You mean that thing that makes people crazy? I think the disease has something to do with the transpiration, too. Hold on, slow down there. Now you're sounding really paranoid. No, Jack, there's a connection. I know it. It's my fault. All my fault. Genius showed me Lord Nogueira's grave. Huh? Lord Nogueira is dead? Jack, please, tell me what I should do. I'm afraid of myself. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I can't see the future. And that terrifies me. Jack, please help me. Jack, do something. I'm begging you.
Uh, Ridley. I'm sorry. Ridley? I'm okay now. I'm sorry. I have to go. What? Wait! Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye? Hey! Wait! I don't get it, but hey, what do I know about poor little rich girls? It's probably just some rebellious phase. I bet she's always doing it. I'm sure she'll be back in no time. Whoa! I'd better get to the castle! He hasn't grown any smarter, I see. Greetings, Master Jack! You are? I thought you would ask that. I am Al, the castle steward. Oh yeah, right! My buddy Al! Yeah, of course! Ah, you do remember. I'm impressed beyond words. You know, you're kind of cranky. Were you always like this? Now that you're no longer a knight, I'd appreciate it if you didn't speak to me in that tone. Anyway, Master Jack Russell, Lord Locks, has requested your presence at the meeting. Meeting? Lord Larks mustn't be kept waiting. He's in the conference hall. Lord Larks? Goodness me, don't tell me you've forgotten his lordship. Lord Larks, commander-in-chief of the knights? The idiot has the intellect of an ape. Huh? What was that? Never mind. The meeting's about to begin. Hurry up, monkey brain! Here it is, the conference hall. And Jack, please try not to make an ass of yourself. And so the upshot of it all is that the knights were able to take control of Earth Valley. Ah, Jack, I'm glad you could make it. Please have a seat. Now to continue. There was a problem. After we managed to secure the valley, a dragon appeared. Perhaps someone who was there can provide us with the details. General Dynas? Gentlemen, I speak as one who fought the dragon. A dragon is powerful, frighteningly powerful. I can attest that a single swipe of its claw can rip through our armor as if it were made of nothing but paper. General! You speak like a coward! I defeated... We defeated that dragon, did we not? We fought and won! You saw it! You saw me slay it! Cross! Enough! Sixteen years after the Water Dragon, the Earth Dragon comes to our land. 
Perhaps there is some truth to the old legend. Larks? This one, Your Majesty? The tower breaks the sky. Here come the dragons to bring it down. If the dragons have indeed come to destroy us, then we must take measures to protect ourselves. Your Majesty, have you given any thought as to why the dragons have come to kill humans? I presumed it was to defend the fairy creatures. No, sir. The dragons are the guardians of this world. Their mission is to protect the cosmic order. The dragons do not side with the non-humans. They merely protect the balance of the world. The emergence of the dragon in Earth Valley is a warning. A warning to all of us. The dragons believe that left alone, humanity will upset the cosmic balance of Totaos. Guardians? Totaos? This is the first I've heard of such things. Where does this come from? Ancient manuscripts, documents that few people are familiar with. This is ridiculous! Why are we wasting time on this superstitious poppycock? Cross, sit down! Dragons are just like any other beast. They're not invincible. Now is the time to strike them down! Cross, I said sit down. Dinus. We can't afford to completely dismiss what Cross is saying. Sir? Lord Lucian, how many dragons remain? Two more, according to the legend. We lost almost an entire brigade trying to subdue that Earth Dragon. And you say there are two more? But I'm sure you all remember Cairn Russell. He was able to slay a dragon on his own. If we fight with skill and courage, I do not see why we cannot also be victorious. Exactly, my lord. Just give me the opportunity. Dinus, it is clear now that humans and non-humans no longer share any common interests. Unfortunately, we can no longer avoid a confrontation. And when the time comes, more dragons will appear. Precisely. So. We would do well to hunt them down now, while we still have the chance. Your Majesty, I would advise sending out the brigades to hunt down and slay the remaining dragons. Hmm. We create our own fate. Those who fear change have no future. We shall do as Larks advises. Prepare to send out the troops. Thank you, Your Majesty. Dinus, have the troops prepare and deploy them as soon as possible. Sir! Lord Lox, the Noir Mouton is standing by. We are ready to move out immediately. Very well. You will take the Noir Mouton Brigade and begin searching the Elflands. I would also ask that the guilds provide us with as much assistance as we may require. Your Majesty, will that be all for today? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Today's meeting is adjourned. I thank you all for attending. Jack? Uh, yes, sir? Would you come to my chambers for a moment? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, um, what can I do for you, sir? Well, this isn't about what you can do for me, Jack. I'm actually hoping that you can offer me some advice. Advice? You want advice from me? Yes, that's right. I could use the advice of Jack Russell, son of the Dragon Slayer. Uh. Though I spoke with confidence at the meeting, I am concerned about our future course. 
In truth, I am not certain that we can defeat the dragons. We decided that we must fight them, of course. But is it the right thing to do? Uh, what do you think? I would be interested in hearing the opinion of one whose father fought and defeated a dragon. Me? Well, I don't know too much about this kind of stuff. But I know the dragons can be beaten! We can win for sure! I really want the chance to fight a dragon, just like my dad did! Thank you, Jack. That's exactly the answer I was hoping to hear. I want you to join the force I'm sending out to slay the dragons. Which is why I called you to the meeting today. I'm expecting great things from you, Jack. Yes, sir! You can count on me! Hello there. Hi. Hello.
<laughs> Hello.
Hey. The guy in that tent, what the heck is he up to? I don't know for sure, but I do know that he's plotting something. He's up to no good. But that's when they all appeared. We would brought the Blood Orcs all that way, just so we could unleash them on the City of Flowers. Who'd have guessed those buffoons would be wandering around there? Them showing up was a real surprise. You're telling me. What a disaster that was. <laughs> so Cross brought that blood orc? What was he thinking? It's his fault Lady Ridley was hurt. This is terrible. I have to tell Lady Ridley at once. Uh, wait, Gantz. Wait for us. <laughs> 